How's it going, Top Forest TV? My name is Jack, and welcome to my preview for the big one. Nottingham Forest taking on Derby County at the City Ground on Saturday. You know, it's one of those games you're always looking for on the on the fixture list when it comes out. One of those games that you're always really excited for, and you, you know, you, you, the, the excitement builds up as the week goes on. Um, yeah, can't wait for it. You know, I'm... I'm Part of me, I'm really excited, and part of me, I'm a bit like, Ugh. you know, we're doing really well, fantastically well under Steve Cooper. You know, we've lost three games in a, almost 20 or, or, or around that number. You know, we're doing really, really well. Um, but Derby, on the other hand, they're five games unbeaten in the league. Um, you know, they've only lost once in that sort of five league game period in a 1-0 was it one nil or two one? Um, it was a, it was a, it was a close loss, uh, if you will, to Coventry in the cup. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm confident. You know, I'm always confident now under Cooper. He sort of installed a mentality of of us being, you know, unbeatable. Anyone can come and we we will get something from them, unless it's Fulham who seem to score about seventy goals. You know, every time they play a game, maybe not seventy goals, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, so, I don't know. Obviously, I think Forrest are going to win, and I do believe we will win, but I don't think it's going to be as clear-cut as some may believe. You know, some people say, oh, it'll be like a 4-0 Forrest win, very comfortable sort of thing. I don't think it'll be like that. I think it'll be a close one, 1-0, one 2-1 sort of thing I'm going to go for, um, in terms of, obviously, in the way of Forrest. But again, just that, mob mentality they have of, of us against the world, the mentality that despite everything going on off the pitch, the ability to still get results on it, is, you know, you don't really like to give credit to your, um, you know, you, you're the biggest rivals, but they deserve it because they've been really, really good um, in the last few games, you know, Rooney's got a real, um, he's got something going on there and, and, you know, if they can stay as a club until the end of the season or whatever, he has, a, he has a decent chance of keeping them up now. Barnsley have been horrendous. I don't think they've even won a game since their new manager's come in. You know, Peterborough, um, you know, I, I can't really think of who's down there at the minute, but um, not too many um, clubs down there doing great. So they, they have a bigger chance than any to stay up now. 14 points after 21 being deducted. It, it's still not like, it's still not, you know, amazing. It'll be sort of mid-table, um, you know, but fair play to him and it's not going to be easy obviously the atmosphere should be incredible you know potentially the last ever East Midlands Derby that sounds so weird to say because you know you don't expect Forest and Derby to never play again but who knows what's going to happen with Derby are they going to still be a club I don't know um, but yeah uh, could be the last ever East Midlands Derby so you know it should not be the most Nottingham Forest thing to do lose to Derby in a game that we can probably well I don't know about probably but we may never be able to play ever again to put it right lose the Brian Clough trophy forever oh I really hope we don't do that I really hope we don't do that ah, you know what I feel we might win I'm going to say 2-1 Forest I think we might win this one you know we, we, we're on a good run um, Cooper's really got a good vibe good mentality going around the the club around the squad around the fan base the fans are going to be really behind the boys it's going to be a, a similar style of atmosphere to the Arsenal game you know one where we're really up for it giving it all to roll the boys on sometimes when we play you know sometimes we're on the back foot defending a bit more having to sit in having your fans just giving it large and, and roaring you on can just give you that extra little bit to help you push on help you to dig in a little bit deeper so you know if we can do that it'll be um, be a real big help to the players I'm sure um, but yeah I do feel that we will win 2-1 and I've got a feeling Keenan Davis might um, open his account at Forest with a goal against Derby I just see it happening um, first half I think it might be um, oh sorry I didn't mean to, to cover the camera there just switching arms yeah I, I just got a feeling he might score you know I'd love it if he did because he's looked really good since coming in, you know, caused havoc for the Arsenal defence. Um, from all accounts, I didn't get to see the Millwall game, but from all accounts, he was really good there. Eight dribbles completed, which is the most in the Championship this season. Um, you know, so yeah, he looks really good, and I really think we've got a player on our hands, someone who can hold the ball up, draw the players in, but also somebody who's um, able to get in behind and, and show a little bit of pace. Um, so yeah, I think. Um, 
I've got a feeling he might score a goal, you know. Um, if I had to say another scorer, it's going to be grabbing. I mean, he's he's on fire at the minute. The bloke definitely deserves a new contract. I know I've seen something online saying that um, Cooper's not really thinking about a new contract at the minute and neither is grabbing. They're just focusing on playing the games, playing football, scoring goals, getting results. Um, so, you know, I think as long as his mind's focused on the uh, task in hand, on... Um, what we're doing on the pitch, scoring goals, like I say, getting results, then you can't really complain too much. Um, you know, if it does start to take his mind off things, if it does start to make him focus on wanting a new contract, or even potentially, I don't think this is the case of government, but potentially looking elsewhere, then you want to try and get it wrapped up or you want to try and get something sorted. But uh, but no, I think that we will... Um, I think that we will win this game. I do think it'll be Davison grabbing on the score sheet. Oh, yep, on the score sheet. For them... I've got no idea and I don't really care. Just got a feeling it might be 2-1, it might be a close one. Um, but yeah, um, like I say, Derby are doing all right, to be honest. I mean, they've got some, still got some good players within the ranks. Tom Lawrence, um, you know, he's probably their danger man. Kadeem Richards, obviously we know all about him from scoring against us um, last season. <clears throat> Tom Lawrence scored against us this season. Um, you know, Knight in the middle, Sibley. Um, you know, they've got a they've got a a good side there. Curtis Davis, good centre back, good experienced player. Um, obviously, it'll be interesting to see how long they stay there, how long the clubs are around. It just seems so weird. Like you don't really know what's going to happen with them. Like it's just so bizarre. And you know, to, for this to potentially be the last ever East Midlands derby is huge. I think this one might have a bit more to it than, than any other. And Derby will be wanting to win this so, so much. More than they would any other game ever, probably. In recent history, I'm not going to go as far as ever because they've been in cup finals and things like that. But, I mean, in the last sort of 10 years, this might be the biggest game they've ever played. I know they've played in playoff finals, but to beat us at home, you know, at the city ground, in potentially the last ever East Midlands derby... It'll be huge for them. So we want to be on it. We want we want that same sort of feeling going into the game. You know, we want to be feeling that this is a huge game for us to win a game. We really want to win and a game that we must win because, you know, again, like I say, it, it could be a chance for Derby to take the Brian Clough trophy forever and, and we'll never be able to have a chance to rectify it potentially. Um, it all just seems so weird saying that. It just doesn't really seem real. Um, but yeah, we need to go out there, get the three points, get the win, keep the trophy, keep... Um, our winning streak or unbeaten streak, should I say, against Derby going. And yeah, um, 2 1 for me. In terms of the, 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 the uh, lineup, I think it's going to be a very similar lineup to what we've seen against Middlesbrough. Uh, Middlesbrough, sorry, Millwall from the off. Apart from, I think Warrell might be injured. I've seen talks that he's got a rib injury, but I'm not entirely sure. I've not seen anything too, like, you know, um, what's the word? Set in stone, I guess, to reliable to really say whether it's true or not. I've seen some people say he is. Some people say they don't know. I'm not really too sure. It'll be interesting to see whether he does play. I think if he can play, he 100% needs to play. He gets these sorts of games. He gets what it means to wear this badge on his chest. He gets what it means to beat Derby. Um, and, you know, we really need him in the back three. If not, I think some people are saying maybe we'll go to back four. I don't know. I'm not sure about the availability of other centre backs. I don't know whether Fix is fit, and be so Eli. Not really too sure on their fitness. So, you know, if they're not fit, then it probably will have to be a four, sort of four two three one. Maybe looking something like Samba Spence, um, Cook, McKenna, Colback, Garner, Yates, Zinkenagel, uh Johnson. Maybe someone like. Uh, well, I was thinking Carvalho. I think Carvalho played against Derby Way and was was quite poor. Who would you put in there? I mean, you'd obviously have Davis up front. Would you go Davis and grab him four four two? I'm not really too sure if a four four two would work. I think you probably need three behind the striker. Someone also to get stuck in, in the midfield. Um, I don't know. My mind's kind of going blank a little bit as to who could play there. Obviously, Lolly could come in, move Zink or Johnson in the middle. But again, I'm not sure on the fitness of Lolly. My turn's obviously out at the minute. So, you know, do we go with someone like a... I don't know. Do we play grabbing behind um, Davis or something? I'm not really too sure. Um, but I'm sure Cooper's got it up his sleeve and he's got a plan. 
But yeah, like I say, 2-1 for us has got to be the scoreline for me. I think we have to go out there. We have to win. We have to make a massive atmosphere. You know, potentially that's ever East Midlands derby. We've got to win this one. And we've got to go out there with a bang and, and really just, you know, put on a, a cracking display. Actually, I'm not really bothered if it's a cracking display or not. I just want us to win. I want us to, to potentially end this rivalry with a win, keep the trophy, get another three points, push on towards the playoffs. And yeah, really, uh, really looking forward to this one. Can't wait for it. And uh, hopefully it is a exciting day. Well, it's going to be an exciting day, but hopefully it's a happy one for the Reds. Uh, it's uh, a one that goes down in history as a Nottingham Forest victory and one that we'll remember for years to come. So if you did enjoy, smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new around here and you have enjoyed um, this video or you are enjoying the videos on this channel. Let us know down below what you think the score is going to be and that sort of thing. And come on, you Reds.